Okay, everyone. Whoops. Got these down here. And they have to edit this. Okay, everyone. Usually this time of year in Vermont, it's quite cold and I'm ice fished out, so I'm sick of ice fishing. And uh, I get all my axes and hatchets out, sharpen them up, clean them up. Sometimes I make new handles, sometimes I don't. The first one I'm showing today, it's a Hudson Bay style. And it's about 16 to 18 inches long. I, I can't tell you exactly. It's not a Norland. I, I, I don't know what brand it is. It doesn't say anything on it at all, anywhere. I bought this new over at Paul Grimshaw's back when I was trapping. It had a nice leather sheath, and I lost it. Took it off, and I set my trap, and I lost it. And the handle had worked loose. Well, I tightened the handle up. I probably should have sawed new one out and made it. But the uh, handle worked loose. And I don't know what else to tell you. I sharpened it up, cleaned it up. I didn't wire brush it. I could have. It's had a lot of use trapping over the years. I'm trying to think how long I've had it. I have 58, probably 30 years. And I, I paid, oh, in the 20s when I bought it 30 years ago. So it's a pretty good hatchet. I don't remember. I almost think it said Norland when I bought it, but it, but there's no mark on it. So I can't say that it is. I'll just call it a lookalike. But it seemed to me that the tag had Norland on it. And it's, it's a good hatchet. It's a good piece of steel. It holds a good edge. Chops good. We're not going to chop this tree in half with it. I'm going to chop some of the branches, some of the bark off. Maybe I'll go over and get a little piece to split with or something. But it's a good, good hatchet. The other one, I got that in a yard sale a long time ago. And that is an incredible piece of steel. Boy, that sharpens nice. And that's a, that's a shingling hatchet, carpenter's hatchet gas shingling hatchet and I put that stupid looking handle in it and I should change it well this one at the time I guess I didn't think about it I was butchering chickens I'd raised a bunch of chickens and I don't like a real curved blade for chopping chickens and ducks heads off when you're processing so I grabbed this and I, I, I actually did it on a grinder my father had tungsten carbide grind wheel for whittling carving wood down and I roughed this handle out I put it in and that handle has stayed just as tight I mean it's a terrible thing to look at it's all chicken blood the handle but this is a really good whoops I missed <laughs> it's a, not a particularly nice looking handle by any means but that is a really good piece of steel and that is a comfortable handle in your hand chickens don't like it but um, I don't mind taking the bark off this tree was dead and it's not punky it's good wood you can see get down into it but the bark comes off well that's not real good there not terrible I'm gonna burn it man it was dead it's in my woods it's gonna fall down and rot, so why waste it? You know, I try to use coal stuff, not cut my good wood. But, um, oh, I suppose you sat here long enough, you chopped that in half, but we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna shut the camera off and I'll go get some stuff that we can split up a little bit with them. There, we're back. We'll do this one first because it's in my hand. You know, you can either do the convention. Splitting that way. Bark came off. Or you can 
Oh, it's got a nine in it. It'll split. Whoops. That hardwood doesn't always behave right. You know, they work. They do the job. That's, that's actually ash there too. Our ash trees are all dying up here. I talked about that in another video. This one's almost springy. It's not a good chopping block at all. Whoops. I'm not gonna make a fire tonight. Should have got going earlier. As you can see, they do the job. Well, that's it for today's hatchets. I don't know what'll be next. I've got more to do.